So we're just getting ready. We, you saw the video a while ago about us making this new area for the feeding pad, but we are just starting to get the uh, forms up here and uh, it's fall. We finally have time to do projects like this. And we got just the outside forms up that we've used before, some old boards, two by sixes. So we're gonna finish that out and run it down to the old cement pad. And then we gotta get rebar in. So we got about half the rebar down and the forms are up and we've got this fence out between the old part and the new part. We gotta take the posts out and finish cleaning the manure up out of here. And then we'll be ready to put the rest of the rebar down. So we got the fence out and the bunks mostly moved out of the way. We just gotta finish putting the rest of the uh, rebar down to start on the side here. Gotta do the rest of it here. Okay, all the rebar's down in the grid pattern. And I think we're ready to go. Every other spot is wired. Everything looks pretty good. Just gotta get the cement here now. It's uh, like the 5th of November, 4th of November, I think. So there's a big rainstorm coming and it's beautiful weather today, but everybody's trying to get concrete today. So we're gonna have to be patient. Hopefully everything goes well, all this work to get to the point of pouring concrete, the last step goes the quickest. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm pouring right now, got half of it poured and grew. So we finished pouring about five o'clock last night. They, uh, we were a little bit short. There was an awful lot of people trying to pour concrete yesterday. And the main reason was because we're in the beginning of November and it was dry for about a week. So we had some time to do this uh, where the ground had dried out, but obviously everyone needed concrete at the same time. The good news is they're gonna be able to get to that even if the ground's wet under there uh, next week. So all in all, it worked out pretty well. We got it poured, it took probably two and a half hours to actually pour it, strike it all off and get it uh, grooved. So pretty happy with how it turned out. You can see we got a temporary fence up with our tractors and panels so the cows aren't out on here. It's uh, been probably 12 hours or so since it was poured. Uh, a little more than that. 16 hours, but we're gonna leave it a couple days here before we let cows on it. So obviously you can see it's raining. We're supposed to get three inches of rain, between two and three inches of rain today. So it's gonna look a lot different here, but think, think very thankful to get it done for the most part. And had a good group of guys helping me.